Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing a hard drive on an HP all-in-one desktop. Let's go ahead and take a look at the model here to identify um, these product. So here it says HP model 22-C0010. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I like to do is to remove the cover right here. I'll be using a metal prying tool just to go kind of go underneath and pry it open. And here you want to lift up that little rubber to expose the screw which is holding down the stand. The rubber doesn't come off, so all you have to do is just kind of move it around, uh, peel it to the back, and you can see that there's one screw right there. So let's go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew. It looks like the uh, the screw doesn't come off. So once you unscrew, when the thing is loose, move on to the next part, which is here. There's another screw right there. You gotta peel off that little rubber on the side and unscrew. Once I've removed the stand, okay, I'm going to remove the three screws. You can see that there are one, two, three, which is holding down the LCD screen and the front speaker panel. So two and three of the screws. I'm going to turn it around in the front and lift this thing up. Okay, once I've removed this front panel, once I've removed the front panel, the next step is to remove some of the screws here to remove the LCD screen just to get right into the hard drive. I just want to be careful with the uh, the screen. Do not want to crack the screen. All right, so kind of lift it up like this way. At this point here, you do not want to lift all the way up. Uh, just gonna give you an idea. That is the thickness of the LCD screen and the white bezel or the white plastic is supposed to come together with the screen when you remove it. And when you're removing it at this point, you want to stop at 45 degree angle because there are multiple cables are still being connected to the screen. So like this example, it is still connected to the screen and to remove it, all you have to do is just slightly uh, slide this connector up. So leave it straight up. 
to remove it and you want to pay attention to how you remove it okay uh, meaning that you see this little golden um, the golden side of it the connector that golden side of it is supposed to be facing away from your body so it's facing the front and then the other side of it which is just white without any golden stuff should face towards your body so facing down so to install the golden plate go that direction and then the white connector towards the body okay that's how you install it and the next step is to remove the LCD cable there's a little clipper right here the white clipper you need to lift it straight up it doesn't come off do not force it to come off it just disconnect the secure pin by lifting it straight up just to uh, make it loose so that the uh, flex cable on the screen can come off and the rest of it it just come off entirely like such once you've removed the screen here's the hard drive I'll get right into it getting one of the screw second screw looks like I need to push the hard drive Okay, so the hard drive is kind of slide this way. Okay, meaning that let's do it again. So the hard drive, you're gonna push it that way and then lift it up. Disconnect the cable and there you go. I'll be installing this hard drive here SSD and so at this point I can only explain it to you um, I do not have the video to move forward um, there are two ways you can upgrade your hard drive one of them is to clone the hard drive over to a solid state drive if you're interested to speed up your computer or to replace the broken hard drive is to do a cloning meaning that you can clone this hard drive all right over to a solid state drive so this is a regular 3.5 inch hard drive and this is a regular 2.5 inch hard drive you can clone it over by using this program called Acronis okay um, or what I'll do is I'll link it down in the description below where you can get it directly from Amazon or eBay uh, where you can buy the software install in one of the computer not this one because we took it apart install in a different computer and use the process of con cloning it over okay and you also do need to have an adapter adapter means adapter that powers up the hard drive or reads the hard drive okay so you probably need to get two of them <coughs> one is for this one for this so they can clone this one over to there all right which i will be doing that process by cloning it over but if you decided to fresh install the computer you can just <coughs> sorry you can just forget about cloning that is option two is to install this hard drive right <coughs> of course you need to uh, diy yourself to get one of those mounting bracket or anything to tie it down to fasten and secure this bracket and then get yourself a uh, Windows 10 one of this uh, installer CD from Amazon and then just fresh install your Windows if you do not want to buy this which is fine you can actually make one yourself uh, check out the Microsoft website uh, try to go to Windows 10 OEM media tools setup something like that just look it up on Google 
uh, and from Microsoft website you can make your own by installing into one of those USB and fresh install your windows all right I hope this video is helpful and if you do find a video is helpful please um, smash the like button for me if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe to the channel <coughs> and if you want to show appreciation to support my work and support my channel I really appreciate that click on YouTube super thanks to share your gratitude and I will be very happy thanks for watching until next time bye now